Hey Aries, what's poppin' Aries? I know I'm about to get hype as fuck because every time I do the Aries video, all of y'all energy come pouring through. Unless y'all is just not feeling it th that month, then you know. But y'all energy be just turning me up every time it's time to do the Aries read. So let's see, ooh, there's a lot of smoke right there. Let's see what we got going on. For all of my Aries and Aries, this is your September 2020 monthly tarot scope. Um, for my Aries sun, moon, and or rising, you can check this video out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Okay. So let's see what we got going on for Aries. All right. All right. All right, all right, what we got going on for the Aries, what we got going on for the Aries, let me do one more show, boo. shot clock, somebody was just playing that outside, all right, what we got going on? Or the Aries, I ask that the sign of Aries come into the room and assist me with this reading, all right? All right, what does the month September look like for all of my Aries? Right, Aries. Starting off with the Seven of Swords. Jeez. We have sneakiness. We have deception. <laughs> Aries. Deception, lies, cheating, stealing. What's going on, Aries? Okay. Some of you Aries may be sneaking around doing something that you know you're not supposed to be zooming. You know, you're trying to keep something hidden. You don't want people to find out or you don't want a certain person to find out. Okay, so, you know, there's a lot of sneaking around in the month of September. So that's what y'all got going on. Okay, but this also could be, it could be like a person that you're dealing with. Somebody could be lying, stealing, or cheating. So keep your eyes open in the month of September. Okay, don't let nobody play you okay so you know pay attention to red flags like don't be letting shit slide get clarity with people okay so then you have two of wands so there's a decision that needs to be made okay so obviously the decision is uh to sneak around or do not sneak around to lie or to not lie to cheat or to not cheat to steal or to not steal so you could be stealing hours you could be shoplifting. I don't know. You could be stealing people's ideas. You know? You could be, you know, having affairs with people you're not supposed to be having affairs with. You know? You have the world. So everything coming full circle, things coming into completion. I feel like what the universe is saying right now is that like, okay, so... Say that you're engaging in this kind of behavior, right? If you're going to do it, then just do it. Then stand on it. Like, don't, like, do something and act like you're not doing it. Like, if you're going to do it, be like, and who's going to check me? And who's going to check me? Who's going to check me? Because I said what I said. So, I feel like the universe is you know wants you to either wants you to stand in your truth no matter what it is that you're doing like if you're going to do it okay like that's fine but stand on it like let it be known that that's what you're going to do if you don't want it to be known if you don't if you don't feel like you could stand up on whatever it is you ain't got the heart to stand up on it whatever it is then you shouldn't be doing it period that's a bar queen of cups 
Yes. So with the Queen of Cups, it's definitely saying that Aries this month, like it's very important for you to nurture yourself and honor yourself and what you feel. Like if you want to do certain things, like yes, it may look crazy to other people, but still it's your life, it's your decision, Aries. It's your decision, Aries. Don't nobody else in this life matter but you and the people you care about, the people that you choose to care about and the people that you love, you know? So it's just like whatever it is, like stand in your truth and like do it. Like do it to the fullest of your abilities. Like don't half step on nothing. And that's not an Aries thing. Aries don't half step. Y'all know that. Y'all don't have step. And I feel like even just with y'all half step in this energy, you probably been feeling like not yourself. You've probably been feeling off or you've probably been having like low vibrational self-talk, like, you know, your ego, probably talking to yourself bad, putting yourself down because of whatever it is you're doing. And it's not really about what it is that you're doing, whatever the action is, what it is that you're doing. It's about you not standing in your truth about what it is you're doing. So it's like you know, not committing to yourself. Like, committing to yourself is standing in your truth 100% of the time, all the time. Like, fuck whoever. It don't matter, you know? But be real with yourself because you're the only person you got. When you die, that's who you gonna die with, yourself. Yeah. So that's what that Queen of Cups card is about. It's about really, like, nurturing yourself, honoring yourself standing in your truth standing tall ten toes down like giving no fucks because bitch listen <laughs> excuse my language but yeah like like i said it's not about nobody else it's about you baby okay let's see what else we got going on um queen of cups also represents love and happiness so you know like i said this could be a relationship so you know once you make your decision and you're like i'm gonna stand in my truth like you really get to enjoy whatever this is like you get to enjoy this attraction that you have with this person or whatever you can really actually enjoy it in its fullness and in its entirety you're really like robbing yourself of joy by not standing in your truth about this situation so you know this is where you're going in september so let's see okay <sighs> card up and then it'll pop right back out then you have a three of swords okay so then there is some sort of heartbreak or betrayal so like i said aries this doesn't have to be you carrying out this this act this could be whoever you're already in a relationship and you finding out that they are some in some form or way they're being sneaky they're stealing or they're cheating and you are going to feel heartbreak grief and betrayal um, this also could just be that like you could have trusted somebody with a certain part of you. You could have been vulnerable with somebody and they didn't treat you delicately or with honor as they should. And you're going to just really feel it because you let your guard down and you allowed yourself to be vulnerable and you're just disappointed. So there is this heartbreak energy toward the end of September. Um someone may not be taking this news you know as well as they would have thought like also you could find out that you are in a love triangle because that's what the threes represent some sort of love triangle um either way here there's some sort of betrayal or heartbreak this could be self-betrayal this doesn't have to be another person doing this to you it could be yourself you know just feeling you know, like, wow, I betrayed myself by not standing in my truth. And now look where I am. I'm in a situation that is not very favorable to me. So um, make sure that you nurture yourself and that you honor yourself, okay? And, that, and there is nothing wrong with the fact that you let your guard down to be vulnerable because the pain that you feel, you're going to feel it wholeheartedly. You're not going to feel half of the pain you're not going to suppress the pain you're going to feel the whole thing so that this is not going to happen again so that you actually learn 
what it is that you're meant to learn from whatever you're going through in this month of September. You're going to you're going to really learn, you know, how to honor yourself and nurture yourself and stand in your truth this month. Um, it's going to come with some heartache, but who doesn't have heartache? We all do all the time. So that's the normal part of this human experience. And we have your final card, Aries, which is the Wuhu. New beginnings. New beginnings. Okay. Anything is possible. The start of something new. We love to see it. So it could be like maybe one person you're dealing with saying like, eh, you're cut. Like I'm not dealing with you just because you decided to stand in your truth. But it could be a new beginning with someone else. Um, it could be just a new beginning with yourself in the way that you carry yourself, the way that you think about yourself, and the way that you approach situations from then on out, you know, whatever that may be. But you have a new beginning toward the end of the month after this heartbreak and grief. So it's not like that heartbreak is going to echo over the whole month. That energy is not going to cover the whole month immediately after you're feeling free and liberated, like... You're feeling like, yes, I can do anything I want. I believe I could fly, but fuck R. Kelly, because we won't do that. But yes, yeah, like you're ready to go on a new adventure on a new journey. So overall, this is a month of nurturing yourself and standing in your truth, Aries. You know, no sneaky behavior, okay? If you did that, then you did that, okay? And that's it. That's just that on that. That's on period. Okay. So I hope that this resonated with you all. Please comment below and let me know what you think. Um, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Magic Mermaid. Follow me on Twitter at The Magic Mermaid. You know, around the 15th. I don't know if I said this in the beginning of this video, but I'm going to say it again. Around the 15th, you can look out for the mid-monthlies, which will be typed up on Twitter. And I will put them on Instagram. So look out for those. And other than that, I will see you guys next month. All right. Thanks for watching.